Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm gonna replay Red Dead Redemption. Um, I decided to replay it because of the recent release for the new Red Dead Redemption, the second part of it. And we're gonna dive right into it. I really enjoyed this game the first time I played it. It had such a good story and great characters. I don't remember like 100%. I know most of it, but it's going to be good playing it again. Exodus in America. And uh, how these episodes are going to work, um, basically I'm going to keep playing, um, oh, basically I'm going to keep playing until uh, I decide there's a good cutoff point, and I won't have an outro, I'll just cut it off, and then I'll have the next episode pick off from that. Uh, I wanted to put the subtitles on, but I'm not, I can't. There he is, all American badass. Oh yeah, also I'm going to include all missions and side quests, so it'll be a pretty long series, but I'll cut off any unnecessary traveling and uh, any unnecessary dialogue. As soon as I get the option, I'll put the subtitles on. Red Dead Redemption. Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Bunch of BS, lady. an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. I'm a savage. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes, 
His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. And all those ladies do is talk shit. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. Oh, there's the McFarland, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. To live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Woohoo! Alright, then let me put the subtitles on quick. Now, where can I find the subtitles? I forgot. Yeah, I can't remember where the hell the subtitles are. Oh, there we go. Must have passed it like 40 times. Jesus Christ. Alright. Anyways. Gotta go to the saloon. I'ma walk there because I'm that patient. It would have been pretty interesting to grow up and live in this era. Man, these graphics look so outdated. It was the most beautiful game when I like first played it. Alright, let's go. Come on, man. God damn, I forgot all these controls. Alright. That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to oh god, the oh god. a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kind of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or 
Maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. I can't wait until Red Dead Redemption 2. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> nice. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater fig bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Oh, God. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. All right. Let's see where this mofo's at. Whoa there. Whoa, whoa. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> that evil laugh kind of makes me uncomfortable. All right, let's approach this goddamn fort. Show them who's boss around here, who's their daddy. Hello! I'm here to collect the rent. Hello? Bill! Oh. Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You just need to give me my rent money. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. You are. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. Man, don't make me repeat myself. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implore. Man, I'm always I, here. I implore you. To go back and tell them 
to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Oh, God damn. Oh. <laughs> Poor kid. I'm here bleeding out, and I remember Miss McFarland helps us. Probably had a tough ass time dragging my cold ass body. Oh, I forgot they both carry me. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, this is that one guy carries me. I don't know why I'm referring to John as me, but I'm gonna just go with it. New friends, old problems. 